Astrid Riken, for The Washington Post Joe Cragle shows off his new tattoo, which, when completed, will cover up an older, regrettable tattoo on his wrist. By Teresa Vargas, Washington Post regrets take many forms, a missed baseball game. A failed test. A marriage proposal met with a, no. But with time, and effort, most can be pushed out of sight, out of mind. Joe Kregel shows off a tattoo he got at age 18 and regrets, Astrid Riken, for the Washington Post, that is not the case with the regret that Joe Kregel tries to hide most days. But with each glance at his left wrist, he is reminded again of the very poor decision he made many years ago. There, near the crease above his palm, sits a sloppy-looking black and red tattoo. It is supposed to say, love, instead, it looks more like, Lloyd, the 29-year-old from Herndon, Virginia, knows it's bad, so bad that, he normally wears a watch over it and sometimes a long-sleeved shirt over that. Even then, enough of the red peeks out that it often draws attention, and then Kregel finds himself, yet again, explaining what it is. Start your day with the news you need from the Bay Area and beyond. Sign up for our Morning Report weekday newsletter. It was poor placement when I was 18, he told me when I saw it. I tried to avoid wincing. I failed. I cringed. I'm sure he noticed, but after all, that's why we were here, standing next to a portable stage in a hotel in Arlington, Virginia waiting on three judges to signal they were ready for him. The judges at the nation's Tattoo Expo, in its summertime debut, had just declared winners for best arm, leg and overall tattoos, and now it was time for them to shine their table lamps on the bravest people in the room, the men and women competing for the worst tattoo. For anyone questioning if bravery is too grand a word, imagine competing in a baking contest and handing three accomplished pastry chefs who had just judged souffles a plate of Rice Krispies treats. And not some creative pumpkin-flavored ones cut into perfect squares. We're talking out-of-the-box, must-shaped marshmallow mounds. Bravery in its most cringeful form is owning one's embarrassment. Before Craigle stepped on stage, a trophy and plaque had been handed to the man who won four overall tattoos. He had a dad bod belly, but when he took his clothes off and stood on a chair, wearing only underwear and tattoos from his collarbones to his toes, the audience looked on in awe. The MC called his body, beautiful. This was obviously a man who knew how to make a croquembouche. There are many people who believe that tattoos are dangerous or tasteless or that the body shouldn't be defaced. Those people were not at the expo. Instead, it was filled with people who spoke about the process as the ultimate form of self-expression, an art for which they felt honored to serve as a canvas. But even they would agree on this, not all canvases end up in Picasso's hands. Sometimes those hands belong to a drunken friend or a stranger at a party or a tattoo shop employee who is available on cheap for a reason. Tattoo artist Crystal Loretto said she spends more time covering up tattoos than creating new ones. She recently worked on a woman who told her fiancé she couldn't get married because she didn't like the large letters inked into the skin above her chest that would show in a wedding dress. The words those letters spelled out, no regrets, yes, really. In a portfolio of before and after photos Oretto shared of her work, the letters were concealed under bold, vibrant flowers. In another photo, a sad-looking display of candy was turned into a colorful, inviting scene of sweets. When I met her at the expo, the artist was working to cover the wrist tattoo of a woman from Burke, Virginia. Tristan Glenn competes for the worst tattoo during the nation's tattoo expo on June 2nd, Astrid Riken, for the Washington Post, they started calling me the cover-up wizard. Oretto said. 
Gregory Piper, who put on the expo and owns a tattoo shop in Manassas, Virginia, said one of the main reasons behind cover-ups are trends. People look at what's popular, go with the crowd and then later chastise themselves for choosing a design that feels far from unique. In the 1990s, that was the half-moon, half-sun tattoo. Last year, he said, it was a feather that flowed into a bird. Right now, the tattoo trend is, I want it upside down so I can look at it, Piper said. In 10 years, this is what we're going to be covering up the most. Piper has his own permanent regrets. Among them is a stack of skulls on the inside of his leg. The image carries a stigma that doesn't match who he is, he said, and so he wears pants whenever he speaks publicly or goes to his 9-year-old daughter's school. If I could start over, I would have traditional Japanese sleeves and chest panels, he said. Piper said he often advises young people to wait to get tattoos, especially when their designs involve their faces, necks or hands. He has even discouraged his oldest daughter, who will soon turn 20 and wants to study law, from putting any ink on her body. She and her sorority sisters recently discussed getting the Roman numeral 11 to represent the 11 of them, he said. I said, what if one of you gets hit by a bus, or you make another friend and then there's 12 of you, Piper said. Keep in mind, this is permanent. This stays with you for the rest of your life. Unless, of course, you find an artist who can cover it up. The prize for the worst tattoo contests, which was officially titled, My Tattoo F and Sucks, was a $250 gift certificate to Piper's shop, Exposed Temptations Tattoo. Five people lined up for the competition, and Craigle stood at the front. Behind him was a young man from San Antonio who had given himself a tattoo on his lower thigh of a heart with a word, cold, in it. Get it? Cold-hearted, yeah? Most people don't either, which is why he was there. Reading this on your phone? Stay up to date with our free mobile app. Get it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Standing behind him was a man from Kalamazoo, Michigan. He had a large tribal symbol on his back shoulder that could contain an insightful message, or not. He wasn't sure what it was supposed to symbolize. Someone had a tattoo gun at a party, he explained. This old woman in line pulled down a corner of her waistband to reveal her regret. A lion? I asked. Contestant Kenton Mann is judged by Candy Dunbar, from left, Jason Sloan and Elise Fox for Best Overall Tattoos at the Nation's Tattoo Expo on June 2nd, Astrid Riken, for the Washington Post, everyone's question lets me know how bad it is, she said. In the end, the tribal symbol won. Craigle shrugged off the loss. He pulled up his sleeve to show that, even without the gift certificate, he is well on his way to fixing his regret. On his 29th birthday, he had a large bear tattooed on his upper arm. He now plans to have it colored in and surrounded by things that symbolize people in his family, a butterfly for his grandmother. an infinity not for his father, and for his mother, a tree with roots that hide his old tattoo. By next year, he said, his arm will be covered with everything he loves, and not noise. ADU might also like a quick look at Kylie Jenner's millionaire lifestyle work money celebrities who are major dog lovers www.familyminded.com Truths about the British royal family Family Minded This is the logo to look out for if you're buying a Hardware zone Apple may be building its own high-speed network for Hardware zone clash of the cheese tarts Straits Times 2 South Bay women arrested for alleged sex with teen MercuryNews.com Paris Jackson scrubs graffiti off Michael Jackson's
MercuryNews.com Ask Amy, I'm stunned by my husband's bedroom request MercuryNews.com Recommended by